Joel W. Bristol, let's talk about capping. Um, everybody wants a pretty cap. Well, how do you get it? Well, there's some basics. We don't have a lot of time here, but let's talk about the basics. A pretty cap is a cap that's not real wide. The wider the cap, the harder it is to make a pretty cap. So when you fit this thing up, don't get used to taking them big old one eight spaces and all that stuff. The tighter that space, the tighter the bevel, the less time it takes to fill it, and the prettier the cap's gonna be. Uh, a narrow cap is prettier than a wide cap. The first problem area is on top. People always overfill it because it's flat. It's easy to weld up there. You can uh, see good. So you tend to overfill it. Be conscious of that. Do not overfill it. Do not make the fillers over full. You want a space up there equal to about two inches to be about a sixteenth low. And uh, that way you can get up there and start your knots together, run a little more heat, and they'll blend together better. Then what happens is, right about in here where I'm starting this rod, especially if you're uh, a young welder learning, you weld it good on top, you're stuffing it up, and you'll get right here, and this is one of your worst places in the vertical because gravity's fighting you. And you'll start going wider and wider, fanning that puddle uh, because you're losing control of it and your filler sometimes will wash up over the edge of that bevel. You never want to go over the edges of your bevel. You want to be just a little bit below it where you can hang your fingernail on it. And then you want to run a strip down that side from about two o'clock to four o'clock to raise the center. So it's a little bit like the peak of a, a, a roof of a house. A little low by the bevel edges and then the center needs to be flush or just a little above in the side because that's where it flattens a lot. So uh, that, that's kind of a little deal there. Then if you're uh, new to, you will get down there to about right here at four o'clock and you will start going the other way. You will get a little frustrated and so you'll start running away from the puddle and you will start welding down the center of the bevel, um, but you'll leave it a little low and then you'll cap it and it'll be low. So what you want to do is, just like the body work, you want to check out your filler. Um, your cap is only going to be as good as your filler. Yeah. Think of uh, body work before you paint a nice classic car. And uh, you want your body work to be good. If it's a little low, fix it. If it's a little lumpy, grind it. But as you get more skill, uh, you shouldn't have as many lumps. Always strike ahead of wherever your rod chains is or where your start's going to be and then kind of long arc, walk it back to where you want to start. Long arc it off for just a little bit and then kind of settle into a thicker puddle and you'll have nicer tie-ins and uh, be a much nicer well. The other problem on the bottom is always pulling out at six o'clock. You want to weld past that about an inch or so. You want to walk up the side, but you want to go past it, come down the other side, lap it back the other way, and then you won't have them low places down on that bottom. I'm Gerald W. Brister. That's your tip for today.